Hi guys, I am back. I am so sorry that I have been MIA for the last couple of weeks. You know, when they say it rains, it pours, it truly does. And that's just the way life goes. Anyway, if you are new here, my name is Misty. I do appreciate everyone taking time out of their busy lives to watch this video. It truly means a lot to me. Um, today, I'm just gonna do a get ready. I did get a new palette um, before the year ended and it's the BH Cosmetics. It's the Fairy Lights. I liked the colors in it, so I figured I would go ahead and try that on for you all today. And then I also um, purchased the Becca highlighter and this is the Pearl Pro Glow one. It, uh, I like the color. It looked really, really, really pretty. It's unique to what Becca has done. I mean, even the container, and it's the one that's got that little bump in it. So I'm excited to try this one as well. I did use my um, Ulta points for these. I did make one other purchase before the end of 2019, and that was my Guerlain Meteorites. They have year Chinese New Year packaging. So that should be here soon. Um, I ordered that from Neiman's because, as I've stated before, there is no place in Omaha you can buy your lawn. So anyway, I hope you all have been really good. Um, I do apologize for my break. However, I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I had the ablation on the one side, which makes the other side hurt more. And then work, I was doing, you know, they wanted us to do like six days a week and everything else. I did miss a couple of days of that, unfortunately, due to the back. And then while I was at work one day, somebody decided that they were going to back up into my car. So I have some damage there that I will need to eventually fix. I've already filed a claim. You know, thank God for insurance and thank God I was grandfathered in with the deductible that I have. And then to top it off, on Christmas morning, I woke up and my bottom tooth was caught on my top tooth, which made it wiggle a little bit, hurt like none other. Christmas day, I had to go to Walgreens. I truly, 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 truly hate going anywhere on Christmas day uh, to make any purchases, whether it be the gas station or... Um, you know, Walgreens, and I know Walgreens has to stay open because there has to be a pharmacy for people who um, get ill. So I went there and I got um, a severe toothache. Um, it had benzocaine in it, um, and that helped just a little bit. And then the Kanka made it through the night. The next morning, I had to go to the dentist. Um, the tooth is a little wobbly because it was stuck. And we know that um, I now need to get a mouth guard because I tend to grind my teeth at night when I hurt, be that as it may. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting a mouth guard. I need to get a root canal. I went to the dentist on that Thursday. On Friday, I went to work and I have never felt like this bad before. I felt like I was going to pass out, throw up, I'm, and my olfactory senses have been terrible. I mean, I smell something and it makes me want to throw up. So I ended up having my husband pick me up, which last time I had him pick me up from work for something, I had sprained my ankle and I had a, um, manual car at that time so I could not shift gears and that was probably about 26 years ago so then I came home I didn't go into work Saturday I actually went to the ER because I felt like it was getting worse so the infection is on this bottom tooth here my lip has been numb from here and then a little bit of numbness all the way up to there since this all started I have a swollen salivary gland um, under my tongue which is unique. And then everything was all swollen up down here and all the way down my neck. 
So I went to the ER because I was getting concerned it might be systemic. Um, I didn't need it to get any worse than it was. They switched my antibiotics, $150 copay with my insurance. Did not know that, wasn't overly thrilled. So on Thursday after I, we'll step back for a minute. And Thursday when I found out that I had the infection and that they were putting on antibiotics, I had to call my doctor's office to let him know because my ablation was scheduled for Monday, um, the 30th. And because I have an infection and because I was on antibiotics, I couldn't get my ablation and that, that is a real downer. So I have to wait a couple more weeks to get the other side fixed of my back. Plus new year, new deductible. So it's just been kind of a whirlwind for me between not feeling well and everything else. The, the tooth, I have to say, really set me back. I was pretty much in the recliner or in my bed for four days. Did go back to work on yesterday, which would have been the um, New Year's Eve because today is New Year's and did not feel well. But that is what it is. I do apologize. I really had no energy and did not feel well. So I wasn't doing anything with my social media, um, YouTube. I know I've got to catch up. I've had some comments I saw pop up on my phone. Um, I'm going to get that all caught up. I do have some resolutions. They're not resolutions. I have some 2020 goals um, for me in general and for this channel. Uh, my health, I have got to put um, my back health top of everything. Um, I need to do more research to figure out what types of things are going to be better for me uh, exercise wise and you know sleep wise and everything else with my back and then I just need to do more osteoporosis research find out what type of mattresses are out there to aid someone like me although I honestly I don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to spend on a new mattress but we'll cross that bridge when it gets here my channel I don't know if I need to make a revision to it or not um, I need, and I'm going to put a poll up above, let me know if you enjoy the Mask Mondays. I I know that that's one of the videos that doesn't get as many views as others, and that is fine. I get it. Um, but is it something that you guys enjoy? I do like doing it. It makes me know for sure I'm going to dedicate one day a week to my face um, for like a spa-like um, experience. So I will probably keep doing that depending on what you I want to do a shop my stash with just a twist. I want to really start utilizing a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that I have. Um, I will be doing a video on my collection and I want to pull like four to five palettes out and I want to use at least two to three of those palettes per week and I want you guys to vote on which palettes you want and I will utilize them and make some looks um, and that'll be more of an interactive thing. Uh, I might do this with the highlighters and blushes as well. I am still going to purchase makeup. I mean, that's just a given. I'm also really wanting to um, support small businesses more of these indie type companies. So if you see anything that looks interesting palette wise makeup wise you know send me a comment email me and let me know and if it's something and i will probably purchase it and then for my channel i want more consistency so i'm going to be um better about uploading my videos and having them on monday wednesday fridays unless i change those days Social networking, as far as this YouTube channel, I am not the most talented social media person. <laughs> Surprise! But um, I want to get my Facebook and my Instagram and then a Twitter started and linked. And then that way it gives me more interaction with you. You guys can um, 
communicate with me probably better. I am hopeful of that. Okay, so today I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics. It is a 20 pan palette. I will do swatches at the end of this video uh, to show you each of the colors. I am going to start out with Angelic, and Angelic is going to be the shade here. I have already done my eye primer. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. It's the one I've been using for quite a while. Angelic might be too light, but that's okay. We'll just go straight up to the brow. I'll try to scoot up a little bit more. I am going to mix Bliss with Angelic. Oh, I am using my Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush. You can tell I'm out of routine with this because I'm not even mentioning the brush I'm using. I can tell you one of the first purchases I'm going to make for this year is the um, Natasha Denona Mini Glam. And with my Delium 760 pencil brush, I want to dip into Passionate. It is hard to read, so I do apologize. It's white on silver, so this one's Passionate. Wrong one. This one is. I am placing this one on the outer V. I don't really have too many plans today. Um, my daughter's mother-in-law has been in town from Florida visiting so I'm just going to go over there and visit with them for a while. I meant to do it over the weekend but the tooth said no. I'm grabbing my Luxie small tapered blending brush and I just want to blend that blue a little more inwards. All right, so now with my finger, I am going to use the shade Luminous, which will be this one right here. I'm going to put it all over the lid. I'm not going to give my impressions on this today because uh, I want to use it a couple more times. Maybe do a couple more looks with it. So I... We'll do that on a later time. All right, and then with my finger, I am going to use the shade Enchanted. It's very pretty. I'm going to put that in the middle of my lid. And then with my Luxie blending brush, I'm just going to make sure it's all 
that together. And then I am going to go back to using my Luxie um, Large Eye Blending Brush. And I am going to dip into the shade Precious, which is going to be this one right here. I am putting that above. I like blue eyeshadow, but I feel that it can wash me out sometimes, so um, I need just a little bit more definition in my crease and above. Okay, I am going to finish the rest of my face makeup, um, except for my highlighter. I... All right, everyone, I did get the rest of my makeup applied. I used... Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade LSD, and I put it on, I use it as my eyeliner uh, on the lid, and then also on the bottom lash line. In the inner corner, I did put the 24-7 uh, Game of Thrones Winterfell, Winterfell Snow there. I like this one. Um, I hate that they make them and discontinue them. All right, for the rest of my face, I did use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. Um, I like this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna repurchase or not. Uh, I, I still have a little bit to go before I run out, but I do like to put it on as my setting powder. And then I used my Pure um, Bronzing Act in the shade Light. I really do like this. And when I use my bronzer, I also use it as my, um, to contour. I only go to right here because if I went all the way down, I would look deathly. So I suggest, um, trying that. Then that way you don't look like you're so solo and, um, ill. I did go ahead and use the Tarte. Mm-hmm. <laughs> blush stack um, that was limited edition. I think it's still available. And I use the shade Prize. It's that middle shade as my blush. Caviar volume from Laura Mercier for my mascara. Okay. And then now I am going to go ahead and use this new Becca highlighter that I purchased um, in Pink Pearl. And I am going to grab a Real Techniques fan brush. And I'm just going to swirl my brush in here. I think that's pretty. It's subtle not in a bad way subtle it's just really flattering It's a very pretty one. I'll put a little bit on the head. Just a little bit on the nose. People go a little overboard. There we go. All on the bottom. All right there. All right. And then to finish it off, I am going to use my Guerlain Meteorites um, Happy Glow Pearls. I think I have shown all of you this one before. They don't make the powder puffs like they used to. But this is what the meteorites look like. And I'm just gonna use my La Mer, the powder brush, and dip in there ever so carefully because I have had little pearls that stick at the very bottom of it. And I'm just gonna buff everything in. Gently down here, but
I'm going to go ahead and use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is such a... That was not smart. And then let's find a lipstick. I'm going to use my Buxom Dolly Dreamer. Oh, my poor ba, my poor bottom lip especially hurts. All right, so here is the completed look. I uh, again, I I. Just to give you a little bit of feedback right now, I do like this palette. Um, I believe that BH Cosmetics has very good quality and they aren't as expensive as some other uh, companies out there. I, I think that they don't get as much credit as they should. This one's nice. My favorite BH palette that I've used, though, is that original Zodiac palette. And then for the Becca highlighter, I like it. I really, really do. Um, it's unique. And I think that it gives a very nice glow to the skin. Anyway, thank you guys so much for clicking on watching this video for watching all my videos for subscribing it truly 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 means so much to me um you guys are my family i really really appreciate you so 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 much so much anyway don't forget to like share subscribe and then comment down below let me know if there are any upcoming palettes or makeup releases that interest you down below in the comments and if I can make it happen I will anyway I missed you guys so much happy 2020 and I will see you in my next video bye much love